Hi guys, this is David here from Right on Resources and today we're going to be taking a look at reading for information. So this is for anyone studying the level 2 functional skills qualification in English. During this video we're going to be able to identify different points of views and facts and opinions. So this is going to help you towards the reading assessment but also understand facts and opinion which is a key element that you need to know when you apply it to your writing assessment as well. When you are practicing for your reading assessment, you'll need to be able to distinguish between fact and opinion. So if you're not sure what we mean by these two terms, a fact is a thing that is known or proven to be true. An opinion is kind of the opposite of this. It is a view or judgment formed about something not necessarily based on fact or knowledge. Now these two things can be very easy to get mixed up and a lot of the time is all about how you present the information. For this video, we're going to use the example topic of money just to help us think about the ideas of fact or opinion. So if you have a look at the statement below, it says, is it wrong to care deeply about money? Now I chose this because it is quite a controversial topic and it was one that might be quite easy to talk about. So what I'd like you to think about is are there any things you know for fact about this topic or are there any personal views or opinions that you already hold for it and think about how you'd express them in your own writing. What we're going to do now is we're going to move on to have a look at an example and I want you to think about what are the facts and what are the opinions being expressed by the writer. As I read through the example response I'd like you to think about what things is the writer saying that may be considered to be a fact and what things sound more like an opinion. Think about how it's actually phrased or how it's actually stated in the actual argument that they're making. Money is used to buy goods and services. However, I feel that people these days are too greedy and care about money too much. All people care about is stuff and getting more stuff. We need money to live, yes, but should that be our main focus? I think we should focus on other things. Money isn't everything. We need to stop this now and spend more time thinking of our friends and family rather than obsessing over money. So if you'd like to pause the video now, and spend a little bit of time looking over the response, trying to figure out which parts are facts and which ones are opinion, you're more than welcome to do so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the answers and we'll try and talk through why these are facts and why some of them are opinions. Hopefully you were able to pause the video and spend a little bit of time going through the extract and identifying the facts and opinions. Now I'm going to go through the answers, so if we have a look at the table below, I'll explain why certain things are facts and why the other things might be considered opinions. So the first one, money is used to buy goods and services. It is a fact, we all know it's a fact because it is the main function that money holds as a society. Number two, I feel that people these days are too greedy and care about money too much. It might be something that you agree with, it might be something that, that speaks to you personally, but the fact that they've used this personal pronoun of I tells me that they're going to express their own personal view and not something based on fact. So is it a fact? No, it is in fact an opinion. So the number three, all people care about is stuff and getting more stuff. Now what the writer has done is actually made a real general statement about all of us as a society. Now I'm sure a lot of people do care about getting more stuff and there's nothing wrong with that, but not everyone is that way inclined. So is it a fact? No. Is it an opinion? Yes, of course it is. We need money to live. That would be a fact. Yes, you could argue that we only need food and shelter, but in order to actually get those things, money is now a necessity. We do need that to provide for ourselves and our families. Okay, next one. I think we should focus on other things. Again, it's using that personal pronoun there of I, so it's clearly expressing their own point of view. So no, it's not a fact, it is actually an opinion. Money isn't everything. Yes, it's a fact. Okay. Um, it isn't the only thing that exists, it isn't the only thing that we care about generally, so yes, I'd say that that is a fact. We need to stop this now and, and then the quotation goes on. Now, this is not a fact, because we don't need to do what this person's saying. We don't really need to do what they're actually suggesting. It's just the way that it has been phrased 
makes it sound like this is factual information. Now what the writer's done here is actually very effective because by making something sound like a factual piece of information, you're more likely to persuade your audience as well. So what I'd like you to do is think about trying to express your own views, have a look back over that example, and try to write your own view, even if it's just a paragraph, trying to express some facts and opinions about this topic. If you'd like any extra support or help, the new videos will be added every single week. Alternatively, you can leave a comment, like and subscribe, or you can visit our partner channel called Bookworm Teaching for more lessons and guidance on everything English. Best of luck, guys, and thank you for your time.